So if HR gets involved in those areas that are critical for organisational performance, I believe it allows HR to become a coordinator for success, to spread and embed best practice across the whole organisation. So excellence in everything becomes a living, breathing, day-to-day -day way of working for everybody top to bottom, not just restricted to senior management levels, which is what we often see. The challenge I think to HR is that HR has to become more entrepreneurial itself by becoming not business partners, but I believe HR entrepreneurs. And that's, I think, an area for future development. So that HR really understands the organisation it's in, how to drive organisational performance and how to match HR tools to business need to make it happen. I think this is the reality of where HR could be and should be in the future. And my work with a certain car company uh, demonstrates the link between HR as an example and client relationship management and how the two can work. Have a quick look at this. Now, obviously all of you in the audience that own an Aston Martin <laughs> will, will know that there is a world-class client service ethos there. And one of the things that was interesting was when I asked the marketing director, how do you do it? What's the system? Because we are looking at the new system. And I'm not an HR, uh, a marketing person, but I found this a really critical thing in terms of how HR could support that. The very interesting comment came back, we don't have one. I said, what do you mean you don't have one? No, we don't have one. So are you telling me that the impression that you have a world-class customer relationship management system is purely down to the fact that you have engaged employees who totally believe in your brand across the world? Yes. Proving that if you have the employees on your side, if they're inspired by what you do, you will get world-class delivery. And what's really interesting is that the client relationship management models that are used by marketing and branding people are absolutely, or near enough, identical to the models we use in terms of engaging people. Engaging customers, engaging employees. So there is an interlinking role there that HR can fulfil. And it's about HR being able to set out a compelling vision of the future through these other means to provide a route map that the line management can see is visible, viable and practical. And I think it's absolutely clear from that ex experience at Aston Martin that if you engage the people, they will find the solution. They will deliver world class for you. The problem is that we in HR are often waiting too long for this invitation from the higher levels of the organisation to actually add benefit. The problem is that too many CEOs don't understand HR. That's why they're CEOs and not HR directors. And because they don't really understand HR, they never ask the right questions. And because they never ask the right questions, they often never ask for the right help. And the same applies for line managers, top to bottom. So we have to take a much more proactive stance in helping them understand. We have to actively sell HR, as any entrepreneur would do with their customers. And this just re-emphasizes, I think, the need for utilizing every opportunity we have to be an entrepreneur and to sell HR to our communities in our organizations. And to be an entrepreneur, not a compliant and perhaps submissive business partner.